Hello and welcome to a brand new video here on YouTube and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Joe and I am your host for today. I've got a pretty big video coming here and this is from a house uh, I've never ever uh, ever worked with before in the past. Uh, this is sort of uh, uh, an interesting story here. Uh, they were referred to me by another house uh, who I've helped in the past and who I've done a videos for and who I had the privilege of meeting and uh, it was really just a great uh, great thing and it's Michael Salazar actually who I'm referring to the Salazar uh, perfumes and uh, but today I'm going to talk about another house it's called Demer. Demer? I think Demer is the way to say it. Demer or Demer. I think it's Demer. French. So I they sent me, per the referral of Michael Salazar, they sent me two of their full-size bottles of perfume as well as a full-on discovery set. Big one that has like 10 of their perfumes. Plus three that are kind of like working progress. So I think I'm just going to focus on and I'll do this these three separately because I don't want to make this video too long but I'm going to focus on this discovery set and then I'm also going to be talking about these last two and I'm going to wait till the end for those and then we're going to get to get to the check them out so let's start with the discovery set first from what I can see here uh Demer 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 and I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. It's probably Demer. Uh, they have an Etsy shop. It's jewelry. They sell jewelry. And they also sell perfume. And it's like homemade jewelry. Uh, the website is just on, on Etsy only. So it's an Etsy shop. Uh, so you can I can give you the link on that. And I'll, I'm going to give that to you. I'm pulling the perfumes out of the little pouch. So I can just set them up. And then uh, all the information, again, for all of these, I'm going to basically get off of his Etsy website here. So I'm just going to pull them off one by one and do each one of these separately. And whatever I pull up is what I do. So we're going to keep going. So we're, gonna, we're just going to just wing it. Just go for it. All right. So the first one I picked up here is Wayward Labdanum. Wayward Labdanum. That's it right here. I'm going to find my notes here for Wayward and Labdanum. I know what Labdanum is. Labdanum is botanical leather, I believe. If I stand corrected here. And I've got... Let's smell this real quick. We have the notes. Ooh. All right, here we go. By the way, all of these perfumes are genderless. They're all uh, afternoon to night, autumn, winter, spring, semi-casual to formal perfumes. That's the what he's going with with that. So we have Labdanum Absolutes, of course, because this is this is a Labdanum perfume. Uh, you also have Bourbon Vetiver. I do pick up on the Vetiver. I think Vetiver definitely sticks out on this one. Cypriol, Nagarmatha, Apopanax, Absolute, Sandalwood, Oak Moss, uh, Dalmatian Sage. I've never seen that before. White Grapefruit and Carrot Seed. This is a very unique perfume. I haven't smelled anything like this uh, before. Not at all. I feel like the Vetiver in this is definitely the star. But the Vetiver in this is not overly grassy and... Uh, and not too harsh. I know vetiver can be sharp and harsh. All right, next, we're going to go with, uh, let's see, no less numbered days. No less numbered days. I like the name of that. No less numbered days. Or no, it's endless. Sorry, endless. I take that back. Some of the label is, is rubbed off a little. So... Endless numbered days. Okay. And by the way, if you go onto the Etsy shop, the website, you're actually going to also see the artwork that, that's tied to each of these perfumes. 
He's got some really beautiful artwork that's tied to each of them. That's kind of like, and I'll show you that when I get to the bottles, where there's a postcard that matches the perfume. So you'll see that. And all of these come in, in uh, 50 ml and this one sells brand new full size for 225. Okay. I'm liking where this is going. This is, this is a, this is up my alley for sure, because I love patchouli. So we have patchouli, Balkan leather, Arabica, Arabica coffee, ambergris, amber, antique potpourri, and sandalwood. I don't know if he did a tincture of potpourri or how that's done, but that's pretty darn good. I think that's one that I definitely like that a lot. Uh, for sure. Definitely like that one a lot. That's Endless Numbered Days. Next is Smoked Velvet. Smoked Velvet velvet so i'm going to pull it up on the thing smoked velvet again i love the artwork every single one of these is really beautiful ah got a little itch on my nose <laughs> all right every one of these is like a beautiful uh, a little itch on my nose it's beautiful uh, uh like art on the there mm very nice okay i'm digging this a lot this is definitely uh on my top list here gayak wood patchouli benzoin vanilla tobacco labdanum rain soaked brick accord i do pick up on the petrichor in this one i totally pick up on that very interesting and definitely love that one love the vanilla in this the tobacco in this kind of has a slight sweet and semi booziness to it but not too boozy but that that soaked brick accord that sort of wet earthy smell it's like in there you could totally pick that up wow that's pretty cool it's not overly smoky by the way i know it says smoked velvet isn't smoky doesn't smell like like cigarette cigarette smoke at all so pretty darn good then we have framboise, framboise pursue, precious. Framboise is actually raspberry, if you're wondering. And this is it. Framboise precious. And we have notes of, oh, course raspberry acorn vanilla absolute oak wood absolute immortal absolute sandalwood and white musk uh yeah i really like this one this is very much like it, it kind of reminds me and like it doesn't mention anything about chocolate as much but i smell the raspberry and just imagine a raspberry uh like a raspberry vanilla uh it's really really good so uh, that's a good one. And then uh, let's go to the next one here. Uh, let's see, we got Venom. Do Venom. All right. And Venom is up here. Let's see, Venom. Well, I like the name. I know Venom says it's a limited edition. Ooh, I love I love reading these notes. Kind of does help to see the, the notes on here because it gives me an idea of what to expect. I kind of need that as a guide. I do. I don't know about you. When you do a, like a sampling of things, you really kind of need that as a guide. Ooh, Venom is nice. Ooh, interesting on this one. Crushed sugar cane, light agar wood, rose dry cedar and rosemary wow super interesting on this one because it's not too sweet there is a an interesting aspect to this that kind of has i don't know how to describe this without making it sound offensive it's almost like fruity musky and 
urine like i don't know uh i don't know how to explain that <laughs> but there's a there's like a slight urinous you know urinal urine not urinal but there's a slight urine vibe to this but it's not off-putting like it's is that interesting it's not off-putting it's just a you'll see you gotta get the discovery set they're 45 bucks Go get the discovery set and you'll see what I mean by that. Because these are, again, these are these are artisanal homemade perfumes, so it's gonna be different. Next one is Velacorgeist. Velacorgeist. Yeah, Velacorgeist. Okay. Interesting name. Love the artwork again. If you look at the artwork, I love how it does does what it does there with the the photo the, the photo depictions of these perfumes are are very very cool very cool and i think that makes it makes it adds it definitely adds to it okay this one smoky definitely smoky i pick on that pick up on the smoke immediately definitely definitely unique on this one so first of all we got the smokiness from birch tar but then we have smoke we have Moroccan rose, English rose, French rose, sandalwood, vanilla, benzoin, choyaral, whiskey, floral, musk, clove, Italian bitter orange, wine barrel, stave, and old books. Wow, you, like, you really just need to dive into, this is very much like an imagination. Like there's, there's something that has to happen. You have to be very open-minded and just put yourself in the imagination here. It's super unique. Has a smokiness that smells like like you like you're in a in a library with old books that has a fireplace that's burning. You have some rose you have rose in a in a vase and you're just that's what you're smelling. The picture depicts it all as well. Just super special there. Very very special. Next, star stricken star stricken star stricken all right have you ever been starstruck well time to see let's take a look at star stricken oh that's lovely now this one definitely is a bit more i would say a bit more wearable not that these are not but definitely could be a little more, this could be more mass appealing. Curry leaf, Italian leather accord, agarwood, white musk, blonde woods, and penthouse air accord. Man, uh, this one is very, feels very almost uplifting. Like a, it, there's, there's something that makes you feel really good about it when you smell it. It's uplifting. It's soft. It's not too. Uh, it's not too crazy. I'm still getting the smoke from the previous perfume, so like I'm still like that's still in the air. Like this room right now smells like a little fireplace still. All right, next one is Shirasco. I think it's Shirasco. Yeah, Shirasco. Let's take a look at Shirasco. Do I have Shirasco up here? Hmm, I don't think I do. I don't think I have Shirasco up here. Well, might as well just smell it and see. I don't see Shirasco. Hmm. Hmm, okay. When I think of Churrasco, and maybe I'm saying it wrong, maybe I'm saying it right, but when I think of Churrasco, I think of the Brazilian steakhouses. Now, does it smell like that? No, it's it's good. It doesn't smell like meat cooking on a on a thing, but that's why I'm I don't know why my mind goes there. This too also has a little bit of smokiness to it. But I don't have the notes, so I can't really put my finger on what what I'm smelling. Saloon Dawn. Saloon Dawn will be the next one. 
Do I have a note notes for this one? Saloon Dawn? Nope, I don't. I don't have the notes for this one, so I'm going to have to do this one as well. I'm going to have to do this one as well without notes. Ooh, I like this one. Lighter than the rest. Definitely lighter than the rest. Yeah, this one is like a fresher, lighter, woody. Floral, maybe? Slightly fresh, woody floral. Saloon Dawn. Okay, that's the best way to describe it. Again, I don't have any any notes, so maybe uh, I may need to check that out. Like I'm missing Sweet Reverie. I don't see that in there. Gateau uh, et Ensemble. I don't see that one uh, at all. Uh, I don't have Centalorium. I don't see that one. So maybe some of that might have changed in this set. Uh, but let's look at Tabac Opus. Um, I have high expectations because tobacco is something that I really like. So I do have high expectations of this one. Oh god, and I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Man, I like this a lot. Fresh cured tobacco leaves, white suede, cade again to give you the smoke, bergamot. Herbs and spices and cacao pot. A little bit of chocolate kind of thing. Little sweet, chocolatey, tobacco smoke. Best way to describe this. That's a great one. That is a great one. Now, I'm not going to dive into these. I just finished with the Discovery set. I'm not going to dive into these. I'm going to do these separately. Now, I'm going to get... I'm going to do the two that I received here. Let's start with Cobblestone cobblestone phantoms and i want to show you that it it came with a nice card like this and i'll show you the card and then this is the perfume and the perfume was vacuum sealed in a plastic i pulled the the plastic off of it to save time from opening it and i want to show you the full size bottle again these are like 225 dollars each of these it's a 50 ml uh i believe it's edp if not extray um very basic plastic cap this is a stock bottle but a nice uh metal uh label there for this then the card and again this is an example to show you the beautiful artwork that's associated with each of these perfumes look at the beautiful card and the artwork right there i love that kind of puts you in that kind of helps paint the picture pun intended, literally of what you're expecting in the perfume. And then on the back, you have all the notes and the story behind the perfume, which I love that. I love that. I love that. So we have the notes. We have everything we need to know. I mentioned Petrichor in, the, in, in a previous perfume that I talked about. Um, this one is definitely a Petrichor perfume. Petrichor, for those of you who don't already know, is the smell of rain, the wet, ozonic rain. So here we go. Let's see if this, this beautiful, rainy photograph uh, helps paint this picture here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Instantly, instantly, you get the smell of rain. Vanilla. Petrichor, musk, lavender, castorium, bergamot, cinnamon, cloves, tonka bean, cedar, gayak, wood, and light amber. This is like a comforting rain perfume, basically. Like a perfume that smells very comforting and you're looking to, like, I mean, do you have to wear it on a rainy day? No, but can you wear it on a rainy day? Yes. And maybe it will do some magic with you uh, indoors as well. Not that you want it to rain indoors, but there's something about the smell of rain, the ozonic air, the, the soil, the earth as it gets wet. There's something comforting about that. I have to say, there's something comforting about that. 
Maybe you're into that. Maybe you like the smell of outdoors. That's this, plus all the other stuff, the vanilla, the castorium, the tonka bean, the cedar, the gayak, uh, amber, all that stuff. So that's, that's fantastic. All right, now we're going to go off to the last one here, which is called Gentleman's Nostalgia. Another $225 perfume comes in a box just like this. The bottles are wrapped in plastic airtight. And you'll notice that the bottle looks a little different here as far as the, the label goes. Kind of an, again, kind of old school homemade, but it's okay. This I'm really curious about because um, I want to see how they, the, how he does this. Nostalgia, when I think of the word nostalgia, I think that's something that, that you know, brings back a memory. Maybe you're nostalgic. You want to remember how it used to be. And then let's look at the beautiful depiction in the photograph, with, which kind of has this very solemn looking, but super comfortable couch in a very large house. Kind of an older house too. You can kind of tell it's like a sort of a 20s or the 30s maybe by the, by the couch. Uh, by the, and then also the large window. So there's something about that, right? Cedar, sandalwood, pine, birch tar, amber, rosemary, brandy, leather, musk, vanilla, bergamot, mandarin, orange, lavender, clary, sage, and laundered suit and musks. So laundered suits and musks, what are you thinking of there? Well, I'm thinking somebody that's dressed up, a gentleman, Mind you, this is unisex, completely unisex, but uh, I would say this one could lean more masculine, but that doesn't mean a woman couldn't wear this. Maybe she wants to wear this to be reminded of her, of her husband, and uh, this is a great, great way to kind of bring that memory. And in, in, in essence, everything here that you are smelling is essentially a memory, and the photograph is helping you to kind of like put yourself in that memory. Visually and olfactively with your nose, these perfumes kind of take you to that place. And there's a story behind every perfume. And if you don't already relate to the story, maybe you can create one yourself with each of these perfumes. So uh, I want to thank uh, Demer for sending me these and the sample set. Thank you for the journey that this thing has taken me on. I do recommend getting and sampling these before you buy them. Don't blind buy them at all. Uh, I do recommend that you sample every single one of these. I also recommend that when you're sampling these that you keep an open mind. Take your time with these. Don't do all 10 of these at once like I did. I only did this so that because I, I can handle all of these perfumes. But um, take your time with each of these. Wear them on the skin. See how they react. See how see how it does on your skin. These are just paper tests. These are just paper tests, but I do recommend you test it on your skin. Try it for yourself. See uh, if this is going to work out for you. And then if it does, you can purchase the full size bottle at the Etsy link that I'm including down at the bottom of the video here. So thank you for tuning in and thank you so much for all your love and support. I hope you have an amazing day. Take care.